to log d equals to k equals to log equals to log k equals to log k plus v log sorry plus n log v that's it so when you put it this way it will give you what k is you can now start to actually what uh, solve it so when you put it in that uh, in that form you know there's a case what k is uh, 0 0.017 so this one is going to be what this one is going to be y it's going to be like y equals to mx plus c it's going to be mx and it's going to be what this is going to be c c means what the intercept the y intercept <clears throat> So why intercept here is going to be what the uh, degree to be what to be minus what um, to be minus one point seven seven. Mm. Then um, what's it called? Uh, so what you have to do basically is that uh, just find the log of this. What is log k? Log k is zero point zero one seven equals to minus one point equals to minus 1.7695. So because of what minus 1.7645. So if you now look at it down, you'll see why. So you've got this one. So just put that one to be k. So you go what log d equals to d equals to this and uh, nv. Just put uh, n log v and uh, log v minus uh, zero point sorry one point seven six nine five. So if you now compare, if you compare minus one point seven six, I compare this one together. I said they're the same, you know. Mm. It's similar, it's like similar. So because they are actually what the same, that is why it makes this model to be able to do you can do it that way. So because what the y intercept on the graph is what minus 1.77. And mm. also the y intercept that you got is what minus what 1.769, which is called what minus 1.77. So it's mm. nearly the same. That's why you can use that model. It's okay because they have you work out from your own formula, the y intercepts to be what? Minus 1.76, mm. with like 1.77. And on the graph, they got what? Minus 1.77. So can you see this the same? Mm. So that, that's the reason why it's like that. So it's just for, you know, and that uh, it requires you to interpret it. It's like a proper application. You know, that's what you expect to actually want to know. So, you know, you are you expect to know why it goes to MS plus C in like a lower, you know, lower level. So just to, to apply the whole thing together. So that's it. And uh Control. so and um look at the second part now. So that, uh, you see. They find a complete equation for the model given n, um, given the value of n to what to three significant figure. So, since you know that d, d equals to what k, v, n, can you see mm. that's what d equals to? Then, what is k? k is what 0 0.017. D equals to 0 0.017. Can you see? You mm, know that yeah. one. That one. You know that uh, it passes through this. This is D and V now. There's a point there. This is uh, V and this is D. So you can't do a solitude it there. So V is uh, D, V is uh, V is 30. So it's going to be V is, uh, v is 30, it's going to be D. D is uh, 20. It's going to be 20 equals to 0 0.1, 0 0.017. Mm. 
mm, 30 to the n, then 30 to the n, we got what? 20 divided by 0 0.017. So when you actually what uh, when you when you actually what got that, then you now take what is uh, you now take the log of, of both sides. So n log thirty equals to twenty over zero point one zero point zero one seven. Mm. Then you now divide yeah, so log. So you now divide it. That's all. You now do log twenty over zero point zero one seven divided by log 30. So when you do that one, so the the value for n is going to be what? The value for n, n is going to give you what? 2.08 as well. So it's straightforward. It's uh, very straightforward, it's very straightforward. So um, if I say something like this too, five, okay, you can copy it down, copy this one down first. So that's say you can show what have that one. This is application of knowledge. It's mm. not straightforward compared to the ones. So this one has to do with engineering work. Because when like last lesson, when it was just the equations and yeah. I could do that, it was it wasn't easy, but like I could understand it. And then mm. applying it is mm, yeah. so much more different. It's so much more different. That's why application is something that um, you have to just read practice mm -hmm. all the time that's why that's why i was waiting for you to just try something if you try something out and write it down we can build on it but if you don't write anything down there's there's no way you're gonna know your level so for example if you okay if you write it down that, oh this is how i understood this thing i'll be able to say oh this is what i'm meant to do mm -hmm. this is what i'm meant to do but if i'm just uh, going to correct that is uh, from the start to the end it's gonna it's, it's gonna be so hard So can you put that if you copy that one? Yeah, I've copied that down. So I think this one is three months again. The show is driving at what at 60 kilometers per hour in a wet condition. When he notices a puddle in a road of 100 meters, 100 kilometers, 100 meters ahead, it takes 0 0.8 seconds to reach before applying the brake. This is the formula to find if Sean would be able to stop before reaching the pole. So the formula is given again. What's the formula? D equals to K V N that's the formula. D K is what? K is a 0 0.017 V N. This so they have already given you that uh, V the this is a and they give you that uh, the breaking that the engineer measures they are called the breaking distance d. So breaking distance d is a uh, just good like uh, look at the breaking distance d mm -hmm. when the brakes are short apply uh, at the speed of this. So uh, distance before and actually what distance uh, after. So what that to do basically is that uh, your statue of those values in there. So this one is a 60, so it's gonna be D. And if you look at the distance, so it's gonna be D. So 60 equals no point. No yeah, it's gonna be yeah, it's gonna be D2, it's gonna be you know, 60 is the is the speed. So we put that one to be V equals to 0 0.017 60 to the N. And and any what N is what 2.08. So oh, put down, if you put down the calculator, you will get what eighty four point uh, nine meters. So would you? Okay, yeah. Yeah, you go get what put that down the calculator. You gonna get what eighty four point uh, nine meters. That is uh, That is it. So then, um, so you know that's okay. You know, the one part of the other is go with this. So then. Um, so if you look at this one, I say that it's zero point six. Rule it takes what zero point eight seconds. Hmm. Distance plus what speed times uh, speed times uh, time. 
So, I'm coming just to the put a uh, 0 0.8 seconds. So, to put this one there. So, if you compare, if you actually compare the value of this one to what? To the ones 100 meter ahead, that means that the uh, show will stop in time, you know? Hmm. Yeah, it's going to, because it says 100 meter ahead, and it's going to, distance is going to be what? 84.9, isn't it? Yeah. Sean will stop before, before. Sean will stop before. So, this one is also what a scientist studying this. So, it's it's a very, very, it's something that um, you have to actually what, uh, look for. You know, it's practice. I want to lie to you. It's a practice. It's still that you have to actually what practice. And um, when you practice it, you just realize that uh, So just so so go to the so what is this one called? The red one. Yeah, I'm sure. What is this one called? What the line down the middle? No, the, the one I just put on the other side. Um, oh, uh, segment. No, it's called a tangent. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm getting them tangent. confused. Huh? I'm getting them confused because segments inside the circle, isn't it? Inside, yeah, yeah. I get yeah. just brushing it aside. Okay, so so that's inside the circle now. This inside the circle, you can see this one. This one is a uh... sector. Sector. So that's what we're working on today. The sector. Then what about uh, coming? What about this place? Uh, arc. Yes. Okay. Let's start with the uh, area of sec of circle. And sectors. That's the first thing. So the formula equals to pi times radius squared. You know that formula for a sec area of a circle is what pi times radius squared. So if you have this circle and they ask you to find the area. Mm. Area equals to pi times ten squared. So that gives you pi times one hundred. That gives you what? Hundred pi. Okay, or you can convert it to convert it to decimals. It should be like um, three one four point two centimeters squared. Can you see? That is just uh, how to do that one. So that one should not actually be a problem for you. Mm. So do you have calculator with you there? The calculator. Um, could use uh, my PC for it. You can use your PC for it. So I'm just going to ask you to do like few questions on uh, on areas of a circle. And I'll we'll go to area of sector two before we we'll go to circumference and lengths of arc. So.
Yeah, can you try this one? Find mm. the area of this second. Uh, five squares twenty five, so twenty five pi is um my calculator. Work it as we calculate this. Two decimal places. Uh, seventy eight point five four. Seventy point five four. Okay. So um. <laughs> Very right, so eight point five four. So that is um that's straightforward for you, if I'm not mistaken. So, what about this one in terms of pi? So close the radius of three centimeters. Uh, three squared is nine. So, times by pi. Um, twenty eight point two seven. Twenty eight point two seven. Hmm. No, but it's a times by pi. What you ask you to do is that uh, in terms of pi. Oh, in terms of pi, so then nine pi. Nine pi, yeah. So you don't have to convert it just uh, in terms of pi. It's mm. just uh, that form. So which I think that uh, you are fine. So now, um, Yeah. Can you try this one? Uh, the four is the radius, 12 centimeters square the frame. Work out the area of the frame, the area of the shade, and the other one. So, Um, would it be work out the area of the frame? Yeah, you have to find the. So, would would it be fifty point two seven? Fifty point uh... fifty point two seven for the frame. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you have to be able to find out the area of the old thing first. Yeah, Next what step. I tried doing was um I forgot about the frame. I ended up working out the inside. Uh, sorry, not the inside. Um I did I found the area of the photo which is four hundred and fifty two point well I I just find the area of the What do you say? I do find the area of the total. Uh, so I did uh, 12 squared, which is 144 times pi, which is 452.39. And then I did 4 squared, which is 16 times by pi, which is 50.27. Um, and then I subtracted them from each other. No, 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 no. You got it wrong. So when you find the other two, you have to see 16 is the radius, isn't it? Mm. Mm -hmm. So it's good, what, 16 squared? 
times like three point uh, one four two. So you put that on the calculator. Yeah, so, I got four fifty two point three nine. Okay. No, it's not for two point three nine, right? Sixteen. Sixteen times sixteen times three point one four two. Yeah, it's eight hundred and uh, this thing. You get it right. It's eight hundred and. Uh, oh no no no! I get uh, it now. I get it. you add the four and then you subtract. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. You now do this one for twelve. Twelve squared times three point one four two. So, twelve times twelve. Times That's four fifty two. So then you do four fifty two point three nine, minus two point three. Well, four fifty two point seven. Let's say four for eight. Times uh, you have to take it away. Eight zero four point three five two yeah. minus four fifty two point four four eight. So then that's going to be the answer. So can you see? I got mm. the just sixteen. We got the full one is sixteen. So just part of it that was said. So this thing, the full one is what sixteen. So guys, when you can you try it? The eleven and twelve. A circle has an area of 200 centimeters squared. The top one or the bottom one? Both. Both. Yeah. So it's uh, square root of two hundred two hundred square root of two hundred divided by three point one four two eight. Okay. 3.142. So the top one will be 7.98 centimeters. Wait, can I? Mm -hmm. Yeah, what do you do? Um, yes. I did the square root of 200 divided by 3.142. Square of what? Uh, square root of 200 divided by 3.142. Yeah, 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 that, that's, that's fine. What about this? Um, yes, number 12 would be 8 centimeters. Mm. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Very right. That is the this is the tricky one now. Let's try this one. Then we move on to sectors. Do you have your logos designed as four pink circles with white square and the square as the side of sixteen centimeters? Find the area of the logo that is about it. I know that sixteen times sixteen is two fifty six. So wait, is there a way I can write down on this? Mm -hmm. Um. So two fifty. Six is the square. Um, you have four circles inside. Mm. 
could you could you just do two hundred and fifty six divided by five, which would give you so fifty one point two. Find out the area for this one first. Sixteen times sixteen is what? A two hundred and fifty six. You should have fifty six, right? Mm. Then you now find out the area of each of them. So if this word is uh, 16, half is gonna be 18. Then here it's gonna be four, you know? So it's gonna be what four squares times three point one four two. All of them times four. Now do two five six minus um minus all minus everything you put here. That's the answer. And you see, you have to find out the area of a square first. They don't find out the area of the circles. Now multiply each circles, uh, the area of each by four, is it now? So you multiply the area of each by four. Now take it away from a uh, two, five, six, seven. So that is, uh, that is that. So let's look at the uh, area of a sector now. You know, when you say area of a sector, it means that uh, it means that uh, you know there's a fraction of it. So the formula for that is uh, angle divided by three sixty times pi r squared. That's the area of a sector. Angle divided by three sixty. The angle between the two radius divided by three sixty multiplied by what? by a pi r squared. This is 40. This mm -hmm. one is what, well, like uh, 10 centimeters. So it's gonna be, the angle is 40, it's gonna be what, 40 divided by 360 times yeah. pi no. times 10 squared. So that gives you 100 pi divided by nine. Wait, why are you dividing my nine? No, no, what is, why you simplify this one? Yeah, so you do 40 over 360, which gives you nine. Yeah, so yeah if you one over nine, yeah, so it goes like one over nine times 100 pi, you know? So that yeah, is yeah. 100 pi over nine. Then you put that on that center. So let's look at uh, Can you try this one? Mm. And we'll divide by this. Uh, so I know half of that would be four. Uh, and then, so 150, 150 over 360 equals... Um,
Yeah. Get five over twelve for that. Five over twelve. And then four squared is sixteen. So you have sixteen pi. Um so then five over twelve times sixteen pi is So equals twenty yep. pi over three. I come. I, I come use uh, sixty. What is say? Uh, it's squared. Oh, why have I halved it? Why have I halved it? I didn't mean to do that. Wait, let me do it again. Let me do. Wait, one minute. That in sixteen. That so eight squared is sixty four. So five over twelve times sixty four pi is sixty four pi. You'd get eighty pi over three. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, 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 that's fine. You have to make sure that uh, you know you, uh, you just put out as the ideal as a decimal. So that's uh, this thing. okay. What about this? Four. So sixty over three sixty equals six and then six or so six squared is thirty six. Thirty six. So you've got thirty six pi times six. Uh thirty six pi times six. Is two hundred and sixteen pi Yeah. Done. Yeah. So, uh, so, let's, let's look at so let's not look at uh, the reverse one. Mm, like um so if you are given the area, maybe you can actually what say uh, work it out. Do the area of a sector, yeah. Do this one, do this one, and then I'll go to the variable W sector now. Okay, mm -hmm. this is nice. so 200 over 360. Equals Twenty. 
and then the radius of 11 squared is 122. No, yeah. M squared is one twenty one, so one twenty one pi times twenty equals I think I've got this wrong because the answer I've gotten is really big. Yeah, why did you do it big? So I got 7,500. Where did you get it from? The 20. Mm -hmm. uh, 200 over 360. It's 20. No, oh, what am I doing? It's, it's early. I'm, my brain isn't 100%. Mm -hmm. Wait, uh, Okay, so as a fraction, it'd be 13 over 18. 18. How do you get that? Where do you get 20 over 18 from? If you simplify 200 down to 360. So what do you divide 200 by? We get uh, 13. What you no, divide no, no, I did two sixty. Why have I put two sixty into my calculator? It'd be five over nine. Yeah, five over nine. That makes sense. Perfect. Yeah. So yeah. I accidentally pressed six on the calculator instead of zero. So five over nine, so then get rid of this. So then... So one twenty one pi times five over nine. So it'd be six or five over nine. Five. So two three significant figures would be two on two. Two hundred and twelve. Yeah, done. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, that's it now, boss. It's a couple of mistakes before we got hit, right? Yeah, no, I I was pressing wrong stuff on the calculator because my finger slipped and I didn't like go back and realize. Okay. So this was the final one now. So the final one is the length of arc. Length of uh, arc. So that is the length of arc. For example, now, if you're asked to find the length of arc for this, is the formula length of an arc? Yeah, it's gonna be what it's gonna be the angle length of, a, of an arc. It's gonna be what the angle divided by 360 times 2 pi r. Angle divided by 360 times what times 2 pi r times 2 pi r squared instead of pi r, pi r squared. Hmm? No, there's not yeah, it's 2 pi r instead of pi r squared. Yeah. So I'm just trying to charge my pen to see to, to actually what uh, we could try on the screen. So it's going to be angle over 360. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Times 2 pi r. 
Yeah, that's the yeah. that's the length of the arc. That's just the length of the arc. Yeah, that's that's my length of the arc. Yeah. So what for this happening now? This one is going to be what one sixty five over one sixty five over three sixty times three. Uh, so fifteen point. So that would be thirty point 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 four four times five. Yeah, you put it on the calculator. That's it. Four, five. So that is fifty. Four point nine, nine, and then zero. Uh, through no wait. I'll just put a um. So that's the arc. No, yeah. Yes, that's it. That's that. Straight away. That's the actual, that's the end of the act. So, uh, can you see where about this one? Find the end of the act for this one too. For act heavy. When you're done with this, you can wrap it up. Yeah. Well, um, so, 0 over 360 times 2 pi. Oh, uh, so... So it'd be 60 over 360 times 2. Oh, okay. Um, 60 over 360, so 6 times 6, no, 2 pi, so 12. 6 times 12 pi is... Um, two twenty five. That's the arc two twenty six point one nine five. Is that the arc? Yeah. So sixty by this thing can go to by uh let's go about two let's go with twelve pi. Eh? Mm. Yeah, yeah. So that's that that just that sounds favorable. So it's just uh it's um you got those ones um so it's not very hard for you to do. So what I'm gonna do basically is that I'm gonna send another questions for you. Are you getting me? Yeah. Uh -huh. Then you can actually want to do that one. So then I will see you tomorrow. But I don't expect you to do it for tomorrow. But I will see you tomorrow for the second part of the class. Okay. All right, bye. Bye. Bye.